Good day, good day. How the hunk are you? Welcome to Roverland. I got another unboxing box for you with the box with the mark on it. Look at that, huh? Oh, huh. sure that means something. <laughs> All right, now foolishness, let's get right to it. Thank you to all of you uh, coming in uh, Roverland, the channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. I am your host, your friend. Dano, and let's get to it. Oh, first off, thank you for keeping calm and carrying on. You guys got to just keep your head and uh, just keep going on. We'll get through this. All right, let's get to this unboxing Saturday with a box. Yeah, sometimes we don't have boxes. Uh, sometimes we have envelopes, just so you know. Oh, where did I get this from? Yeah, as you see, I already cut the uh, return address off. And uh, Amboy, I N Indiana, Amboy, Indiana, A M B O O Y, A M B O Y, Amboy, Indiana. That's a new one for me. All right. Oh, I lost the tag. I uh, have to find that. All right. Let's get into it here. Oh, we got uh, peanuts. Peanuts. Get your peanuts. Oh uh, yeah. Sorry, you guys. Uh, no uh, baseball going on. So. Yeah, this is probably the only peanuts you'll get for a while. So what do we got here? I don't try not to make a mess. Uh, let's see. Do I got uh, more in here or just this one? There is a Walmart bag. All right. A couple of peanuts got away. <coughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Mm. My goodness. All right. Here it is. This is it. Oh, hey, check it out. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, I have not done a uh, uh, model review of this model yet, and uh, we're going to have to do that. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, yeah, so let's check it out. What is it this way? No, it's this way. Of course, of course. All right, what do we got? Made in Great Britain. It's a Corky's Junior Whiz Wheels Land Rover. And, uh, you know, I don't uh, remember the uh, number for this. Uh, I do have uh, a playlist, uh, you know, we'll check it out at the end there, or, or up here, uh, Corgi playlist, so you can see some of them that I have, but I have not done this one yet, and um, so I can't really tell you too much about them, because I've just been putting them aside, and uh, haven't uh, been doing anything, but anyway, it is a wrecker vehicle, and... Um, yeah, just kind of nice. Now, there's a variation on wheels, I believe. Uh, I think this is kind of a, one of the earlier ones, is the red one. Uh, yellow windows with a yellow beacon. I think there's uh, several variations in red uh, from that. But as Series 3, very nice looking, very, very handsome looking uh, car there. Good details. Now, it comes out uh, quite a bit there, and then it has a big old hook that you can hook your other uh, Corgis or other die-cast models with, and uh, usually those are missing. And I don't think, I think, yeah, they do have uh, a hitch that uh, kind of comes out there or something that kind of attaches there, but there you go. So, uh, yeah, I got this on eBay. I, you guys all know if you watch me, uh, $5 or less. What's going on with that uh, front uh, front bumper there? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that front bumper got kind of kind of hit, hit a curb or something with that front bumper there. But uh, very nice model. We've got to do a model review on this one yet. Uh, I do have something here I want to show you. Uh, matter of fact, I, I have been uh, kind of toying around getting ready to do a uh, toy review on this. And uh, check this out. Uh, uh, yeah, whoa, look at this bugger. Yeah. Huh, check that out. This is an old dilapidated uh, camper pickup Corgi. Yeah, I just was messing around. Um, I think I took this bugger apart, yeah. So uh, anyway, I took it to work uh, where I worked, and uh, I ground that, I uh, had the maintenance guy ground the, grind that off because I didn't have my shop at the time, and I had him grind off that uh, hitch there. 
And so that's what it looks like when you when you sand down the hitch there. And then I got this Matchbox, uh, you know, pickup camper that kind of fits pretty good on there. I I have to fill in the uh, back there a little bit, uh, you know, with some styrene or something. But it fits it fits pretty good. It's pretty good to scale, not too awfully bad. Uh, but anyway, so I primered it, and this one here, uh, I did not bust the window out, but I thought that was kind of a, a neat little touch there. And uh, now these are uh, Hot Wheels, the steel rims. I kind of get more of a realistic look. These are not really uh, too much uh, Hot Wheel uh, Land Rover wheels, you know, they're not really too accurate. Of course, these are not all that accurate either, but they're at least uh, steel steel wheels uh so yeah so let's uh let's uh, so i did uh i think i stripped this down and i i put some primer on it just to kind of quick put some primer on it i don't know i don't know why the primer's missing but anyway let's crack this open this is what they look like uh two rivet two rivet construction there and uh yeah no no uh no interior on these things yeah, so these are pretty pretty quick and easy. As you can see, it's just a little tab there that holds the uh, axles in place, so you can do a wheel swap pretty easily there. And uh, yeah, pretty pretty kind of cheap. <laughs> but uh, yeah, is that different? That is different. Yeah. So we're gonna have to do a review on these so we can see. Oh, because this is this one here is a Whiz Wheels, and this one wasn't. Just the regular juniors. I don't know what kind of wheels came on that. But uh, all right, so then uh, there's the uh, window piece. Uh, now this one, I did try to uh, fill in the window piece. I still got to do some more uh, sanding and filling there. I think my filler that I was using and trying out uh, didn't really uh, hold up too well. But uh, anyway, so yellow, it has the yellow with the beacon. The beacon was probably busted on this one already. So that's why I used it. So uh, yeah, pretty simple construction on the inside there. Uh, I have not uh, drilled and tapped uh, the uh, posts yet. So uh, like I say, I, I was monkeying around with this uh, quite a few years ago. Uh, probably with, oh, probably uh, three or four years ago. And, uh, and I just had it sitting on the shelf. And uh, so there you go. So it's kind of kind of cool, you know, just kind of a little, uh, <laughs> playing around and seeing what I could do uh, just with uh, some of the uh, already uh, uh, what do you call them applications uh, that uh, Matchbox has you know so uh, what's going on here I don't, I don't think I got something in here right hold on folks uh, let's see yeah that seems to no that's not in there right oh that's because I got it in there backwards way to go folks yep that's it was in there backwards all right, all right, get that in there now. See how well that fits in there now? <laughs> kind of, kind of uh, miraculous how in that, you know, you put it in there right, how well it fits in there. So there you go. So anyway, we got to do a model review on this uh, Corgi. Sorry, I don't know the number on it. I'm sure it has a number, but uh, we'll have to do that. Maybe we'll bring out this and... Uh, finish weathering and, and maybe put some uh, windows in this bad boy or something man you can't have the flies flying in there while you're camping but anyway so I got that set aside <clears throat> excuse me all right well there you go ladies and gentlemen uh, unboxing Saturday for you just a little uh, hey check this out come all the way from New York all right all righty let's uh, get out of here Thanks for joining me today. Beautiful, beautiful day in the rover hood. So, you know, hey, get outside and see if you can find a Land Rover. That's right. All right, this is your friend Dano saying adios. And remember, you guys, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great rover day.